Okay, so the reason you've got this video obviously is because uh, I'm at the hospital with my wife. We're hopefully going to have a baby here soon. Um, but before I uh, pack up and you guys are on your own, I'll give you a couple more problems to help you with 4.5. Um, the first one we're going to look at is number 26. That's on page 270, and it says uh, 4p squared uh, equals 448. Um, this one's actually pretty simple to solve, but it's a lot like the others. Um, a couple steps. Um, the first step here is just to get p squared alone, so we'll divide by 4. And we'll get p squared equals, if I divide 448 by uh, 4, I'll get 112, I believe it is. Um, and then all I have left to do is to get rid of my square root, so I, or get rid of my square by taking square root, but I know that when I do that, I have to have my accessories so I can go out and look appropriate. So plus and minus the square root of 112. So that's two steps. Divide by the 4, take the square root, make sure you have your plus and minus. Then we need to do the breaking down. And when we do, there's a lot of choices. And you know guys, honestly as I'm doing this, I don't know that there's a one that pops out at me. I'm pretty sure 4 goes in because I know 4 goes into 100 and it definitely goes into 12. So I will pull a 4. And then um, I'm kind of doing the long division in my head, but 4 goes into 11 uh, twice, so this would be 20 something. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8, that would leave me with 32. 32, 4 goes into 32 8 times. So I've got 4 and 28. Um, and so this gets crossed out and becomes a 2. I've got my 28 here. Of course, I'll keep my plus and minus just so I don't forget. But then I know 28 breaks down as. The square root of 4 and the square root of 7. And as I extend down, p equals, this is another 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so plus and minus 4, root 7. So in that case, I had to do it twice. I could have started um, with 112, with uh, 16, and I would have been left with 7. That would have come out as a 4 and a 7. I would have gotten to the same answer. So there's the answer. Again, just two steps. Um, whenever the p squared or t squared is in the problem, we want to start to get it alone. Uh, when we look at problem 32, though, the problem is significantly different um, because, well, the, the setup looks very different. We start with 7 times x minus uh, 4 quantity squared minus 18 equals 10. And this process is different. See, the x is not squared. And so uh, it's not going to follow the same exact set of steps. But the whole parentheses here is squared. And since this whole chunk is squared, we're going to treat it like what I've been getting alone before. So I want to get this parentheses alone. I'll start by moving the 18. So plus 18 to both sides. I end up with 7 times x minus 4 squared equals 28. Again, I want to get this piece alone, so I'm going to divide both sides by 7. And that works out nicely. I get x minus 4 quantity squared equals 4. Okay. I know from, um, if I follow the same format I did on the last problem, once I get the term squared by itself, rather than actually trying to square this, which would require FOIL, I'm just going to jump straight to the square root. That allows me to cancel the square and the square root, and I'm left with x minus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 4. But I know the square root of 4 is 2, so I'm going to cross that out and put a 2 there. So x minus 4 equals plus or minus 2. To solve this, I'm going to finish by plus 4 to both sides. Again, typically we put this added term in front of the plus and minus, so I'm going to have x equals 4 plus or minus 2. That's great, but because I don't have any square roots left, I want to actually perform the arithmetic. 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 minus 2 is 2. So x can equal 6 or 2. And that's where we see that plus and minus making a big difference. There are two choices I could plug into this equation to still have it be true from the very beginning. Right here. If I put 6 in here, I put 2 in here, both cases are going to be uh, an equal sign. I want you to come to class tomorrow with whatever questions you have. 
we may not grade this tomorrow depending on how we've done. Um, I understand that with me not being here, maybe you have a few too many questions and we'll deal with that tomorrow. But please get everything done that you can. It will make your life easier as we go forward, okay? Um, good luck and hopefully good luck to me too.